Hey BFS fanatics, today I'm going to show you how to tune a BFS reel. For those who are not familiar with a BFS reel, BFS stands for Bait Finesse System. All this are finesse bait casting reels that can fit ultra light, light to medium light bait casting rods. And there are many out there, a lot of them are all magnetic braking, whether it is um, static or dynamic braking, it doesn't matter. The way I'm going to show you how to tune these reels are going to be the same way. And note that there are maybe a handful, maybe a small amount of centrifugal braking style, but um, they're old and I don't see anything coming out in the near future that use this type of uh, braking system, so you guys don't need to worry about it. And to be quite honest, the way I'm going to show you how to tune these BFS reels will work for all magnetic braking reels except for DC. So yeah, if you're watching this video and you are new to bait casting, you could definitely still use this video to tune your bait casting reel and cast far. Note, casting far, not skipping, okay? Not skipping. This is just for casting lures out far. You guys ready to do this? Let's go. All right, so the first step in tuning a BFS reel is the tension knob. And I want to share with you one thing before we get started, and that is for Daiwa reel users. I have the Daiwa Alpha's 800S here. And this reel is actually pre-tuned already on the tension knob. And a lot of Daiwa reels now have something called the zero adjuster tension knob. And they pre-tune this to a point where your spool is very loose, but it's not loose enough where it's, you know you can move left and right. It just has a small little clack left and right, very tiny, very tiny. It's not noisy when you move it, okay? Very little. And all you do is you just manage the braking system, that's it. So yeah, this reel here I got since uh, last fall. All I have been doing is using the braking system. And I have this between six and eight, loving it. I put it on about 12 for skipping, loving it, okay? Really, really amazing. And guess what, folks? I'm gonna show you how to do this for all your reels. In fact, the way that Daiwa did this, I give a thumbs up because this is how I tune all my magnetic braking system reels. Doesn't matter if it's static, or dynamic, okay? So BFS, non-BFS, that's how I do it for casting. Casting only, not skipping, okay? Well, skipping, I still tune the tension knob, same thing, I just change the braking a little bit different, okay? So yeah, Daiwa reels, amazing. So this is what we're gonna do. And uh, oh yeah, if you're gonna get an aftermarket spool, likely you need to tune this knob as well because I did get the robo spool for my Alphas Air. I got it uh, another robo spool for my um, Salamander uh, Salamander Air TW and have to tune it. So for those Daiwa users right now, don't X out on the video. Keep watching. All right. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I am gonna grab this guy right here, the Adebaran 2016, and I'm gonna show you how to tune that tension knob for that spool. All right. So first step is. You want to loosen up your tension knob and you want to be able to do this. Move your spool left and right. You hear that? That is way too much. That's too loud. So it's that movement right there um, could create a little a jump when it spins too fast and that will give a little jerk to your reel when you're casting. So you don't want that. So from here, you start tightening it and also keep testing each time you tighten it. Still movement. That's not good. Tighten it. Not good. Getting closer, very quiet. So slow it down. Just a little bit more. Hold up, I think I might be too tight. Let's back it out a little bit. Okay, I tuned to a point where it is exactly how Daiwa have it, which is a very tiny left and right. And um, depending on a real model, I may just tighten just a little bit so it to have no uh, left and right. In fact, this is what I do. I will tune it so it doesn't have that left and right. Okay, and what I'll do is I'm gonna put this at the lowest brake setting and I'm gonna show you that it's still spinning really, really well because we are essentially having a very, very loose spool, but we just don't want that left and right movement, right? So that is step one in setting up your bait casting reel. All right, so the next step is we need to tune the brakes and in order to tune the brakes, well, you need to shove this guy on a rod, uh, put the line through the rod and put on a weight, right? And uh, I'm not going to do that in this video, but I'm going to show you exactly the task you need to do in order for you to fine tune your reel and figure out what the sweet spot is to cast those lures. All right. So anyway, um, pick a weight that's between two and a half to three and a half grams. It really depends on your rod. OK, um, once again, BFS rods can fit ultralight, light, medium light. So yeah, pick a weight range between uh, two and a half to three and a half gram, depending if you're ultralight, light or medium light. And uh, 
we're gonna set your brakes to 50%. So whatever your brake is, and uh, this right here, the max is six. So I'm gonna move it to three, okay? And what you need to do is go out there and do side cast or uh, underhand roll cast from the side. You do not want to do overhead casting because that could be the end of your bra expensive braid, okay? Because, you know, uh, we all use thin braid and thin braid is um, keeps your spool light and it allows you to cast floors a lot further. And um, if you want the thinnest line out there, you gotta use the most expensive line. And if you backlash from uh, a very high speed, you know, doing overhead cast and the Lord lands right in front of you, well, likely you're gonna cut your line and re-spool, okay? And you don't wanna do that, okay? So do side cast only and with your brakes at 50%, right? Try doing like a, you know, 50% power and see where it goes. If it goes out easy um, and uh, pretty accurate, well, cast harder and then keep casting harder. And you feel like to a point where you cast very hard and you don't need to use your thumb at all, right? Then that means your brakes setting is set too high. And all you do is you need to lower your brakes and repeat the same steps. Cast lightly, moderately, then heavily. But always, always be mindful and get your thumb ready because as you lower the brakes, likely you're gonna start backlashing very, very uh, quickly. And uh, yeah, once again, you don't wanna cut those braids out and throw them away. So there you have it. This is how I tune my BFS reels. It doesn't matter whether it is a uh, expensive reel, Shimano, it doesn't matter if it's Daiwa, it doesn't matter if it's Soinoya, Cast King, you know, as long as your BFS reel are magnetic braking, doesn't matter if it's static or dynamic, as long as it's magnetic. You can follow this um, tutorial on how to tune your Bait casting reel and cast those doors out. And once again, it's not for skipping. So to reiterate those steps on tuning your bait casting reel, first is loosen up your tension knob to a point where it's uh, moving left and right. Then you tighten to a point where you don't have that uh, left and right noise. Okay. And then second, you put your brakes about 50% and go out there and do a soft cast and increase your power into a point where you feel like you could lower the brakes. Then you repeat the process until you feel like you're comfortable casting with your BFS setup. I hope you have found this video useful. If so, smash that thumbs up button, the fish don't wait. Tune your setups, go out there and catch some fish.